Hey everybody, today I want to talk about the new shower drain boxes. Um, for about 25 years we've stuck with the old design. Um, it was a good design way back then, but now we put a lot of thought into this new design to try to help folks out. Um, not only during installation, but also during servicing and cleaning the product. So let's check it out. Starting with the outside, I've got the 98A here and I've got the 98B here. Um, let's talk about the port fittings. The old design, um, it was just a smooth uh, port fitting, um, nothing special about it. Uh, it was stepped. Um, the new design, um, they're all threaded. And what that allows us to do is either uh, you can use um, some three quarters, you can use one inch, you can use inch and an eighth, and you can even use the elbows. Up close to the ends, you'll see this little indent or this little this little line. That's a guide uh, for customers to go ahead and, and if they want to use that that port fitting or that opening, that's where they can cut. The other thing that they can do is right on the very inside, the very center, there's a drill point, and that centers the drill for the customer and makes their life a little bit easier. The other outside part or um, installation feature that we want to talk about is on the on the in the package you'll find one of those, and that's just a simple mounting foot. Um, and you can see that I've installed one here. And what that does is, if the customers don't want to use the standard rails that come with the uh, the shower drain box, they can mount this foot first, slide that right in, and then anchor it down by either the front or any of the rails on the side. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So, now let's go to the inside. The old design used to have four screws on top, which if you've ever tried to open one of those up in a bilge, it was a pain. Top comes off, and there you go. New design, snap fit, pops right off. A lot easier for the customer. The other thing that we've done is we put in a gasket around the outside, um, and that keeps water from splashing out while the vessel's underway. The strainer. Um, to get the old strainer out, it's kind of a hassle. Again, remember, the customer's trying to do this in a bilge. They pop it out, empty it out. For the new style, simply comes right out. You dump out the trash, and the hair and the debris, and it slides back in. The flow switch, that was a pain. Okay. So let's check this out. To get the old one out, you have to remove these two screws. And again, remember, this is in a bilge, not on somebody's desk. There it comes out. The new design, you got two tabs on either side at the very base. All you've got to do is reach in and pop it out. Nice, huh? To remove the pump, that's not too, too, too much of a change. Two tabs on either side, and it slides out. Today's pump, it's a friction fit. The whole thing comes right out. A lot easier for the customer. Um, and then the joker valves. The joker valve is another big thing because what we've done is we've been able to use a much bigger joker valve on the inside here. You see, here's this joker valve. And the other one is much, much smaller. Um, so we've got a bigger joker valve and more flow. The nice thing is, is to reassemble everything. It's real quick. It's all cut. The, choke, the check valve goes in. The pump gets snapped in. Flow switch goes in. And the new lid with the rule logo on it. Go either way. Kind of wiggle the wires into place. Snaps down and you're good to go. There you go, you're all back together. So, this is the new shower drain box, this is the 98B. Um, it'll be out in a few months. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to Paul Campagno or myself. We're more than happy to talk to you about this. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.